Alright guys, this is Konyana here again, and this is going to be my newest commentary on uh, 2 vs 2, and this is going to be a very great game, I'm very excited for this match. This is going to be on the map Vampire, and it is going to be SK Telecom 1 versus NBC Game Hero, and I'm very excited for this match, just because some of my favorite players are playing uh, in this 2 vs 2. You see that for the SK Telecom 1 team, there is July Zerg and I Love OOV. And then for the NBC Game Hero team, there is Zerg and Jay Hoon. And so this will be very, very nice and very, very um, intent on seeing what will the outcome will be on this game. Uh, I do believe that SK Telecom will lose this though, uh, because very recently they, I mean, they really have a very bad 2 vs 2 record. I'll go a little bit through uh, what they've been through this season in the, Pro League, the Shinhan Bank Pro League. <clears throat> they've been through 13 attempts at trying new and new 2 vs 2 combinations, because all of their 2 vs 2 combinations really haven't worked very well. And um, their record for the 2 versus 2 is 3 wins and 11 losses. And they are the only team with a double digit loss count in a 2 versus 2. And uh, I'd just like to note that this is a little bit going to be risky because I Love OV and Jalizer will not be able to play in a 1 versus 1 since they are playing in this 2 versus 2, unless they are in the ace match. But uh, I'm pretty excited because Jalizer will be getting revenge on NBC Game Hero. And if you don't know why he's getting revenge, um, I'll just tell you a little bit later. Or you should know by now, anyways. So, right now we see that uh, the red Terran at 5 o'clock is I Love OOV. And he is going to... Uh, I, I believe that he will be doing mech, which is pretty standard in the 2 versus 2. And the Teal Zerg at 10 o'clock, right here, is July Zerg. And I'm really intent on seeing what he's gonna do because I don't I don't recall him playing a two versus two before. Now for NBC Game Hero, the Zerg is the yellow Zerg at two o'clock, shown right here. And right now Jay Hoon is the white Protoss at seven o'clock. Now Jai Zerg and uh Jai Zerg seems to be doing a nine pool with a fast extractor. This means he will be checking quite quick, uh, quite quickly as well as doing a rush. Now you see that yellow, uh, yellow's pool was a little bit later and uh, does not have an extractor yet. So I'm wondering if the rush that Jai will be doing will be effective or not. It, I doubt it will be because Sunkins are very easy to create and very fast to make. Now we see that the Yellow, the white Protoss is going for a double gate, so uh, this also seems to be a rush, and that is going to be pretty effective, though it does not seem that like yellow is going to be rushing as well, so I don't know why it should be a two gate rush, probably just for early game defense, because a, <coughs> a rush from one person really it doesn't work that well, and um, <coughs> Sorry, I gotta clear my throat, but the six Zerglings are out now, and I, I'd like to know a couple of things that July Zerg could do right now. He could tech very quickly to Mutalisks uh, and do a lot of harassing. He could do mass Zerglings, and he could do mass Hydras. These all have their different advantages. Uh, I really don't think that Lurkers are good because of their just huge amount of gas cost and the long time it takes to create them. Mutalisks also have a very big amount of gas that, that is required, but it's uh, a little easier to create them. So, I'm a little bit curious about what Jai uh, is going to do right now. Uh, from this point on, I'm going to refer to him as Teal. He is going to start creating a second hatchery. I still don't see any drones uh, getting any gas from the extractor, so I don't know why he's not getting any gas. He got that extractor quite early, so I think that he needs that gas. That um, or otherwise there'd be no reason for that gas. Okay, never mind. It seems that July Zerg has really fast, has gotten, oh my god, he's gotten speed upgrade for Zerglings extremely quickly. 
and uh, the lair is going up for yellow, but still we see no lair, but another hatchery going up for teal, and July is going to be able to use this very well uh, with his fast speed upgrade. And July, oh my God, yellow is moving right out of the way, and teal is going to come in. Uh, I'm not sure if teal will get get past, but here comes the attack, and uh, July Zerg will be forced to retreat, but the yellow Zerg player is creating sunken as well. I like that placement of the hatchery next to the small choke since it was a very small choke that one sunken will be able to defend the whole base pretty much. Now, um, Jolizerg really got those speed links extremely fast. And that second hatchery without a lair definitely signals that there will be some mass links for Jolizerg. And I think that the other players already know this. And uh, I doubt that the white Protoss will be going Corsairs or any anti-air units because it's obvious at this point that July Zerg will not be going air. He is going to be doing mass Zerglings, which is a, uh, which is a great support unit to uh, the Terran mech. So that is something that I believe that I Love OV will be doing at this point, uh, red. And you see that some joint attacks are going on right there by white and yellow. So July Zerg is forced to retreat. Uh, I Love OV already has some vultures out. <coughs> But the white Protoss also already has some goons. And, uh, <coughs> sorry. But uh, I really think that uh, the vultures are very nice. A very nice choice to for Isle of OOV. In some games, I've seen people going bionic units and marines and stuff like that. Really, really bad choice. We see the spire going up for yellow right now. So he's going to be able to get some mutalisks very quickly. But I bet that Jalizerg is going to anticipate this. And he's going to get get some uh, spores up just in time and this is going to be a joint attack but I love OV is marking this very well with these vultures great support unit a great uh, great player there uh, it wasn't the best micro because he does not have speed yet and those zerglings have speed but uh, vultures definitely kill zerglings extremely quickly which is another reason why vultures are a very good choice right now and it seems that Teal is going to take advantage of the lack of Zerglings now, and these Vultures are going to be good support units as the Zerglings come through. And Teal, uh, July Zerg is now free, and Yellow knows that this is a good time to get some defense up because he is definitely behind right now. He's not; he has very low drone count, and his Spire is complete, but he does not have any Mutalisks yet. So uh, this is going to be this is being very well played right now by I Love OV and July Zerg. I Love OV using those Vultures definitely to help July Zerg out a lot because they kill Vultures or they. Those vultures kill zerglings and zealots extremely quickly due to they do the maximum damage against small units as well as they are very fast. I see an armory going up for I Love OV and he may be getting upgrades but this really signifies that there will be some glass. And I think this is a very very nice choice by I Love OV once again. A spore is coming up just in time so any mutilist harass will harasses will not work. <coughs> and I was talking about the good choice of Goliath. I really like how I Love OV is playing right now. This is definitely standard play for in a 2 versus 2. Goliaths are going to be able to fend off Mutalisks, and uh, Vultures will be able to fend off small units, such as Zerglings and Zealots. So it's really, really looking good. A very, very solid play right now by July Zerg and I Love OV. And now an attack is coming on right here by July Zerg and I Love OV. There is an evolution chamber blocking the route pretty much. And these Zerglings, a lot of them died for no reason. So I think that was not a very well planned attack. They didn't pick the greatest battle that they could have, <coughs> but we see some glass already out, and those mutalisks are going to be very hard. Uh, the mutalisks are going to be very hard to attack right now. They are not going to be able to attack Ohras very efficiently because small amounts of mutalisks are really ineffective against Goliaths since Goliaths have a lot of HP compared to Marines. <coughs> you need at least, say, 8 Mutalisks for uh, for them to be effective against small groups of Goliaths. Especially Goliaths with Charon boosters and upgrades are really, really hard for Mutalisks in a 2 versus 2 to fend off. Just because the Goliaths have so much HP compared to a Marine, and you can't really kill them in one shot. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. So, really, I'm seeing very nice play by I Love OV right now. And uh, July Zerg is going to be starting to do his uh, mass Zerglings, which is going to be a very nice support unit, as I said earlier. Really haven't taken a look at white space recently, but you see right here that uh, July Zerg has a very, very low drone count. And I don't really like that. 
I mean, low economy works in a one versus one uh, as his style, but in a two versus two, low economy really doesn't work. And now that the ele evolution chamber is not there, the attack is going to come out again. There's a lot of sunken sunken here and some uh, mutalisks as well. But uh, a lot of sunkins going down. There's three left. 